Hey guys, Super Genius 4545 here, back with another episode of Andrew Tui. I'm just kind of back out here outside the cave, and I've realized that I am just a complete idiot. Let's go over here to the correct cave, rather than running around in the completely pointless one. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. That was the completely wrong cave. The right one's actually this one right here, and these are the guys that I was looking for. This guy, he's obviously gray. What's wrong with you? <laughs> but yes. But yes, see, he is cold. So what we can do is take our fire eggs and shoot at the fire, and it will warm the guy all up, and he'll be really happy. You are welcome. Why does he still seem cold? Stop shivering, you're not cold anymore, I gave you heat. There we go, he's good now. Alright. Is this a rock? Oh hey, a rock. I like rocks. What are you? You are a shock. Where the heck am I going? I don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows. We'll figure it out. Okay, this leads me to the question. How the hell does this guy get into his cave every time? This just, he, he just doesn't have friends. Nobody comes to him because he's so freaking hard to get to. Stupid. He has really big feet. He has three toes also. They like junk food. Okay, so now once I figure out how to get out of here, is there only two guys in here? It has to be. It has to only be two guys in here, right? Yeah, uh, we'll go in there in a second. Let's go this way. I actually think I know what- Yeah, I know what this leads to. It's an egg, right? An egg, yeah, it's an egg. Okay, so we can't do anything with that. Oh, hey, I knew there was more than just- More than just you guys. It must just be three. Am I right? Are you good now? Wait, he's not shivering anymore. Oh, wait, no, he is. Yes, I will bring you food in a little bit. Alright, so we can't do anything with that egg right now, and we only have one place left to go, so let's just go this way. We all remember this, right? Well, not this, but the, the witchy world sign. We all remember the witchy world sign. Maybe. Probably terribly wrong, but... Okay. We are going to come back in here to get some more stuff. Didn't think we'd ever have to come back to this place, but I completely forgot about this part of the game. Normally, we wouldn't be able to do this, but while I was looking up, you know, my plan, sort of, I learned a little bit of a... Wow, that totally wouldn't have hit me if I hadn't turned around, but I, I, I learned a little bit of a trick, and we will we'll get to that once we warm up his burger or something. Give me your burger, damn it. Yeah, yeah, we gotta go to the other guy. Yeah. Thank you for sneezing on the burger. That'll definitely be good for the caveman that I'm about to give it to. Yes, we've seen this before. God damn it. Alright, let's go talk to Salty Joe. Hello. Do I really still have Mumble on? God damn it, give me a second. Hello. Sorry about that, guys. That was a little bit strange, and for some reason I couldn't even talk to my friend who was talking to me on Mumble, so I just turned it off. I have a, I have a bind that I pressed to talk, and for some reason it wasn't working, so he's probably going to be really confused at why it just left. Hopefully I don't have Steam on, too. That was a bit weird. I turned off Mumble before I recorded before, but apparently for some reason I turned it back on. I don't remember when, and I don't remember why. Can't see that. Why is my... God damn it. Okay, so that was, that was a little bit weird. Doesn't matter. You didn't miss anything. You've seen this before. Alright, we got our fries. And now for our little trick. Our trick is to come over here and say hello to this guy. How's it going? Excuse me. Excuse me. I need directions. Help me, please. Stop hitting me. I'm just trying to, trying to make my payment. You're a cash register, right? I can put money in you and... And I die. Okay, but yes, yes, the trick is to die. 
because if you die, it will, hopefully, if the thing wasn't lying, yes, it will put me back up here. Normally, you'd need a move that you get much later in the game, but now this basically saves me from backtracking, which is really nice. I don't like that. I don't mind it, but why do it if I don't really have to? Now we can come over here to these guys and, hey, how's it? Light them on fire. God damn it. Do you, do you want this or not? Stop eating your sticks. Yes. Yes, I give you food. There you go. Eat the fries. Now I'm a little bit confused, because you know, I get two pieces of food. And there's three guys. I'm not entirely sure what I'm missing here. Or I'm missing something. Obviously, there's probably some guy here that's like, I'm not hungry, I just want something else. Yes, there you go, food. Yes, I give you food. But see, now he's gonna take the burger. What the heck does the last guy get? You're welcome. Okay, so that's two guys happy. I'm still very confused about the third guy, but we'll go break the bad news to him that I am all out of junk food for him. Hey, how's it going? You, you wanted junk food, right? Uh oh, apparently I, apparently I have food. I, I had two burgers. Sure, game. Sure, I'll go with it. Yes, you are. Give me Jiggy now. Yes. Woohoo! He made a Jiggy appear really far away. How realistic. <laughs> that was Alright. So, now we can... Yeah, I probably just walked past it, didn't I? Uh, well, sort of. Okay, so now we're done with the Oogle Boogle tribe. We can leave that place and continue to climb the mountain now. Because we made them all happy and whatnot. I should get like a Sharpie or something and cross off the stuff that I've done. So that I don't have to look through this giant list every single time I go to look at it, and I was about to speak too soon, but I am surprised I actually made it past all that without completely failing. Now, where are we going? This doesn't lead anywhere, does it? No, it doesn't. I think we want to go back this way. Is this going up the mountain? Yeah, apparently. There's no warp pad or something, is there? Cause when I fail at getting over to there with what I'm about to do, well, I guess I don't have to climb too far, actually. There's a ramp leading right up here. Uh, I think we'll be fine. We just need to come in here, grab these shoes, and then very quickly run back outside this door and do a little bit of uh, precarious climbing up the side of this thing. Because obviously, we... Ooh, I did it! Obviously, we can't jump, because if we jump, that happens. You down there. Your eggs are already stolen. But yeah, I, I kind of spoiled it a little bit. All those eggs that are lying around, those gray things, those are actually her eggs. And she thinks that we're the ones that stole them. But we just kind of want to climb her mountain for no apparent reason. And that is exactly what we'll be doing. And I'd be really disappointed if I was to fall now. So I'm obviously not going to take my time or anything. Doesn't matter. We've made it to our warp point now. So we're all kinds of good. Yeah, I did. How am I doing? Yeah. I didn't think that would last very long. Oh, jeez. You know what? Let's just go die. Why not? They'll probably put us near a warp point, right? Hey, how's it going? I just wanted a hug, damn it. Jesus seemed to be really yawny lately. Sorry about that. Apparently, maybe I shouldn't have taken the time to kill myself. It put me in a really stupid location. You know what guys, I'll be right back. I need to take a take a breather for a second. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. 
Sorry about that. I was having itty bitty problems. And I, you know what? No, no, I'm gonna jump down. Where's the closest place to jump down to that's gonna get me back up there faster? Oh. Well, the the warp pad for the start's like two feet away. So I guess we can go do that. Easy enough. I like this. I, I feel like we've made a little bit more progress in this episode than normal. I mean, we're climbing up the mountain and we're doing stuff. It's, it's a lot better than walking around the bottom of it and just everything that I try to do just kind of dies. Die, but it doesn't work out. It doesn't, it doesn't. Let's see if we can do this again. You know, let's take our time. <laughs> Taking our time didn't work out, did it? Oh well. See, jumping, jumping always works out. Never mind. You piece of crap. No, go away. Run, run inside the cave. Screw everything. Just go. I think we're good. I don't know what's in here, but we're in here. It's probably the top of the mountain or something. Oh, it's this place. I remember this place. Sure, why not? Let's, let's do this. But you know what? I'm not dealing with this shitty bird. Come here, shitty bird. Aren't I supposed to have homing eggs? Fire eggs suck for so much stuff. Alright, but if we come over here and do that, we can unlight these fires and get across to the other side. We kind of want to be fast though, because, you know, they're magical fires and they light themselves back or something. Yeah, like that. You saw it light back up behind me, right? I think I know where this is taking us, and I think there's just about nothing we can do here, but there's a warp pad, so that's good. And whatever. I hear a ginger. I don't know if there's anything we can do here, though. It's just a maybe. I'll give it a shot, but when I die, you know, don't blame me. But yes, we have to get across this perfectly not dangerous plane in any way. Ignore the om ominous music, you know, it's just... They're just messing with us. Uh oh. Maybe not. Whatever, let, let's do it anyways. Don't scare me. I'm ready for this. Uh, <laughs> it's a good thing his feet don't somehow manage to fit in his own foothole. If he was to turn his foot in the right direction, actually get it. That'd be really bad for us. I think we might actually be able to make this. Uh, maybe. We look a <laughs> we look a little bit funny. Alright. Or we can just jump into his foot and die instantly. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's possible to do that. We have to do it with Banjo and Kazoo. Why? Why? You know what, guys? I'm just gonna call the. You know what? No. No, I'll meet you guys back at the freaking other place. See you guys there. Oh, this game's so silly. Respawning me back at that place. What's wrong with it? Whoa, don't go now. Bad idea. Go, go, go. God damn it. How did I make it all those times before? Must have been freaking crazy. Totally knew I wasn't gonna make that. How do you do this? <laughs> I've done this before. I have to be able to do it with the two of them, and that's the only way. That's the only way. You know what? I'll just meet you guys back there when I actually get it. I'll see you guys there. Okay, guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and commentate this part, because I know there's no way I can possibly fail this time. I don't know if this is, like, the right way to do it. Well, I'm sure it's one of the ways you can do it, but I feel like... It's also probably possible the way that I was doing it. But with the way that it was going for me, you know, I kind of decided I'm going to go look up another way or how exactly someone else does it. And this is what I found. And so, yes, we have made it to the other side now. And now we can come over here and hit this Banjo-Kazooie switch and get this Jiggy. Sweet. Okay. Give me my Jiggy. I deserve that. All right, now... I'm guessing that probably takes us to the other side. Obviously, we have to get over here. It's freaking Banjo and Kazooie alone. And, you know what? Let's do the Kazooie one right now. I think we can, we can do that. Because, you know, she's fast. She can get from hole to hole before the freaking dinosaur steps down. 
Yeah, so that just takes us right back over here. We can't do the banjo one yet, because, well, obviously, banjo is not going to be fast enough to get across this plane. But, yes, let's just take the over here, jump in there, run over here, jump in there. Run up, run, you know, go back, go back, go back. <laughs> Bad idea. Got a little bit too hasty. All right, let's just go. We got this. There's no way I can fail. Could always just do this. No, I can't. Never mind. Wasting time here. Oh god, I didn't make it. Oh, that was terrible on my part. What the hell is wrong with her face? I'm gonna try it again though. I will get that this episode. I will. For sure. I will. I just gotta be smart. Seem to have a hard time doing. Like when I jump off at a freaking weird angle like that for some reason. Work with me here, camera. How do I make the camera work with me? There we go. No, go straight. There we go. All right, we got this. It's a straight run to the end. Maybe not. Okay, well, if we can make it that far without taking a hit, then we can make it. Because when we get hit there, you know, we're all kinds of good either way. So let's just jump in here. Jump out this way. We're going to get hit. Let's just die. There we go. I will get this, I swear. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with this. This is so stupid. You you, you should see how many cuts I did trying to do that Banjo and Kazooie one. There was Go back. I did maybe like 10 cuts. It's kind of crazy. I guess it's not really that many when you think about it, but it feels like a lot to me. I mean, that's a lot of failing when you think about it. Yeah, totally gonna take a hit there, but... You know, it's two feet away to get to where we're meant to be going here. There we go. Alright, we made it. Now we can come over here, press this Kazooie switch. Because, you know, Banjo and Kazooie together are not capable of pressing a switch or something. I don't know. Alright, guys, that's all the time we have for this episode. Next episode, we'll probably finish climbing the mountain and... I'll look it up, but I think we're getting close to being... Well, no, no, there's still quite a bit more we can do, but I'll see you guys there. Later.